Hey, this is Carrie with Canary Quilts, and this is week two of the Stronger Together Quilt Along that Fat Quarter Shop's doing for celebrating Black History Month. And this is a pattern that was done by Michelle Ramsey, and she is with Quilts Made with Love, and I have a link to her site down below if you want to check her out. And uh, she put this together. She uh, chose three African Americans from history that inspired her, and they inspired the quilt that she made. Um, you'll learn that the first week is Katherine Johnson, who worked for NASA as a mathematician, and she was, um, it inspired her to do the stars, which are up here. I've done my stars. And then this week is a man named York, who traveled with uh, Lewis and Clark, and he was an enslaved African American, who was the only one on the expedition who didn't volunteer. And, uh, You'll hear me reflect about his life in the video today. It uh, it really kind of struck me. Out of all three of them, for some reason, this this particular person struck me. And uh, she suggested a book to read, which I picked up called *The Journey of York*. And it's uh, I would say it's a more of a middle school type book, maybe. It's kind of a picture book. It's pretty easy reading. It's very very interesting. Um, his life is very interesting. And what I reflect on is you'll see that this is type, quite a puzzle to put together. This quilt is not difficult, but it's a puzzle, a bunch of puzzle pieces. So while we're working on this week, um, they're calling mountains and ravines. This is a mountain peak. This is a ravine. So like this is a section. This is a section. This is made up of three different sections. So that's what we're doing this week. And you'll kind of see how I have to pick and choose my materials because um, you have to keep your you have to keep your paths going in the right direction. You have to keep your colors in the right direction. So it was quite the puzzle to put together this week. But anyway, um, so if you're interested in this, I've got the link down below. You can check out this quilt pattern. Um, they do have a quilt kit. I'm using my solid of the month from last year, my scraps that I have left over. And mostly today we're working with the pinks and yellows, and uh, it was uh, it was really fun. Um, and like I said, it's a puzzle. So hit the subscribe button, notification bell. You'll see me put um, week three together next week, and then we'll put the whole thing together. It's really going to be beautiful, and um, all the other fun stuff we got going on here. So let's get started on week two of Stronger Together Quilt Along. All right, welcome to week two of the Stronger Together. Quilt Along, which is a which is a, um, a celebrating Black History Month. Uh, the pattern was written by Michelle Ramsey of Quilts Made with Love. And last week we did the stars, and that was in honor of Katherine Johnson, who was a mathematician for NASA. And then this week we are going to be working on the Horizon, Mountain, and Valley blocks. And this week is in honor of a man named York. He traveled with Meriwether Lewis and William Clark when they did their journey out to the Pacific Coast. Um, Thomas Jefferson hired them to do that, and he was an enslaved African-American man who went with them. Okay, to get started this week, we need to grab all the 20-inch... Um, long strips that we made for all of our colors and each color you know that has a varying number of strips depending on where it is in the quilt so let's see what we got we got F which is the blue background M is all of our neutral color backgrounds let's see double O double J double F double C Q, U, and Y. So what we're going to do is we're going to match all of these up with a neutral. We're going to sew them together, and then we're going to cut them apart. So that's what I'm going to do first. And we it looks like we need to um, iron these open. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get all of these sewn together and then come back and kind of show you how they get cut apart. So it's going to be a minute. I've got all my strips sewn together. I left them together with their letters that I marked them with. And now 
we need to cut them into the pieces. So I'm getting eight pieces. I need 16, so I'm getting eight pieces out of each strip. And what I did was, I just came over to this side, lined it up, cut a straight edge, and then I flipped it over and started cutting from there. So I would get eight from each strip I got here. And I will end up with 16. And I'm going to put my M back on there and clip it. So I'm just going to keep these with the rest of my fabrics just in case something happens to these. All right, that took a little bit of time to cut all these, but I've got them all cut. We're ready to go. We're going to start assembling into some of these left and right units. And I left the letters on, and what I did was I transferred these letters over to here so that when I'm looking through, they don't use the letters. So when I'm looking through here, I know what I have to put together because a lot of these colors kind of look the same. So I kind of got it in order. The F's are the first um, dark blues that I did. And then I've got Q, U, Y, CC is right here, FF right here. We've got a whole bunch of JJ's and let's just say quite a few double O's. Double O sevens. Anyway, we need to go through and make these four pat left four patch units. And what I did was I went through and went, okay, I need an F and I need a Q here. Then here I need a Q and a U and a Y and a CC. And I need to make four of all of these so I can just start marking these off as I make them. So I can grab two Fs and two Qs, which are right here, put them together and I've got, um, or four, I'm sorry. I can grab four of each of these, put them together like this, and then I'll have those four done. And then I can take four of the Qs and four of the Us and put them together and so on. So that's how I did it. I actually marked these with the letters so that I could keep better track. I wasn't getting confused. So now that you know how I did it, I'm going to go ahead and make all of these and I'll probably be uh, iron these open because it doesn't say not to. So I'm going to be ironing these seams open. So when I come back, I'll have all these left patch units and right patch units. All right, I have got the left four patch units done, which are right here, and I marked left. And I've got the right four patch units done, which I marked right. All have four per unit except for this last one has eight. And I have used every one of the cuts I made off of these. So. Phew, it's been a while since I saw you last. Anyway, let's go on to starting to put these blocks in places, I guess. So, interesting. Yep. Let me start getting some things around. I'll get them set up and show you what I'm doing. All right. We are working on the left horizon block and the right horizon block. And the right horizon block... We actually have two, but they're different colors. It's hard to tell on here. You can kind of see with mine. So the left block has a B. This is a D, P, a D and a P, and then two of the um, units we just made from the left side that match this color. Same thing over here. We've got a B, a D, and a P, but this is the right side, so we pulled from the right side units we made and put them here, and they match the colors. And then this is a right side with a D, a B, a D, and a T, and then right side units that match this color. So we just need to put this side together. We're going to start down here, put these together, um, iron the seams open, and then we'll add it to the B. So I'm going to get these done. 
And then we are moving on at that point to the top mountain units. All right, here's our left, they're calling it left horizon block and our two right horizon blocks and we have two different colors here. All right, here's the top mountain units and you just have to really pay attention, especially to what ones you need here because they're different colors. Um, and you go by color now, there's no letters to go by. So what you need here are D's up here. You need a P and another D over here and then you need an X and a T. So we know in this one, we have the same color right there, but in this one, we want to match our yellows, but our pinks need to match up here, and they're two different colors. So you just have to really be mindful of the colors you're pulling out. Because we're going by color now, we're not going by letter. But anyway, these are the three top mountain units that we need to make. We're just going to assemble them in rows and iron those seams open. All right, here's my top mountain units assembled. So I can set those aside. Now we're going to these middle mountain units. Now, these are correct. These corners here should match your O piece that you have. Again, just sew across, iron seams open. Woo! This is a challenge. All right, there is the middle mountain units. Goodness gracious. Going cross-eyed seeing all these colors, but these are correct. I double-checked them. So now we are on to mountain block. And then more units. So, whew, this is getting, this is challenging with all these colors. I don't know why, but this reminds me of like, <laughs> ice cream or something. Neapolitan ice cream or something like that. I don't know why, but it just does. But anyway, these are our mountain blocks and we're going to have three of them right now made up with the three sections we just did and then we're going to add this down here. So this is what one's going to look like and then I need to get the other two large pieces that go here. So I'm going to get that together and we'll have those three together and then we got more units to put together we have all these over here we got to do something with so mountain blocks and this is how they look it's gonna be so pretty so the next thing we're doing is we're getting ready to assemble left valley blocks so we're gonna have to put some of these units together with some bigger pieces so I'm gonna get those pulled out and show you what they look like. Okay, these are called left joining units and they're going to become the left valley block and the left mountain block. So, if you didn't keep your letters on, I, I hope you kept your letters on. This is like a puzzle. It really is like a puzzle. <laughs> you got to find the pieces and fit them together. And it's kind of like a puzzle because you want to make sure this color, these three colors are together and these three colors are together. So if you look at all of mine, you can see that those colors are the same. And this one's the other way. So it's pink and yellow. And there we go. My mistake was right there. And then this one's over here where it's pink over here and green or teal, blue, whatever you're calling it, is over here. So, yeah, it's like a puzzle and you really got to pay attention to which pieces you're pulling out, where you're putting them, and making sure you're getting them in the right direction. So, I saw that I had done that one wrong. So it is, it's like a puzzle, it's kind of fun. What we need to do is put this together, it's a four patch, and iron all our seams open. So I'll come back when I have all these four patches put together. There's my finished pieces. Um, I was sitting here, I was talking about what kind of a puzzle piece this is to put it together. And I was also thinking about how this week we're 
Um, she talked about York, who was the enslaved African American who went with Lewis and Clark. And you just and he had certain freedoms on the trail with them. He was given a gun. He was able to go off and hunt, and he was used in communications with the Indians. And he was given all these freedoms, and he obeyed them, for no better word, in hopes of getting freedom in the end. And then they didn't free him. So you have to think about kind of what a puzzle his life was. How he's trying to put the puzzle pieces together to complete this life where he can get free and then they don't free him. It's just kind of a sad and part of our history that, you know, we idolize these guys for doing this and then they weren't that great in the end. They weren't, their human being side wasn't that great. Anyway, um, Michelle Ramsey had talked about a biography about York and I'll, I can throw a link to that down below. I think I'll buy it. It sounds like a very interesting biography to read. So anyway, this is a little bit of history that was getting to me while I was making that and thinking about how these were puzzle pieces we had to put together. Here are my left valley blocks and my left mountain blocks are down here. So our, these blocks, we want to grab our W and our double D and we're going to put the one on the bottom of our left valley block like this. And then we want to put the other one on the top of our left mountain block. So get these put together and it looks like we're going to iron these seams open. Our blocks, I'm going to put these aside with our other ones. And we're going back on to building some more units. This is the middle valley unit. And we're going to end up with these down here. So for this, we're going to have to start with O and double A, and then we are going to grab we need this and the other side. Like I said, it's a puzzle piece. This. And then, oh, we need S, too. Where's my S? There's my S. I'll just leave the S on there. Okay, we need S. And for S, we need, I believe, this one. You want these colors to match. This one matches, and we want the yellow. And on the other side, we need a green. We need one of these, which we have not pulled out yet. So, there we go. That's what that one's going to look like. And then with our double A, we need a yellow and a pink. And I say pink, I mean light pink up there and we need yellow and blue. Where is a yellow and a blue? There's a yellow and a blue. So we need that. Okay, same thing here. Put these together. Iron your seams open. All right, here's our middle valley units completed. So I'm going to set those aside with everything else I got. Just got a pile of parts and pieces. So now we need to build the bottom valley units. So you need X, T. There's my X and T. I need my B and N and double E, double I, double B, double N, double B, double I, double E. Whew, I'm telling you. So these, we're going to put one of each on the outer parts of these blocks. So I will grab one.
There we go. That's how those go together. These match, those match, those match. Match, 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 match. Okay. I think we got all matching. And again, put it together in a row. Iron seams open. All right. There's the bottom valley units right here that I just finished. So now we have to assemble the valley block. So let's do this. We need N, R, and Z. And let's just start with the pink. This is going to go on the top. And then this is going to go right here where the colors match it, right there. And then this is going to go here. So we have this coming like that, like a mountain. And the same for these here. We're going to put these together the same way with the similar colors. And then we're going to just sew these rows together and we're going to iron them open and we will have our valley blocks. And that'll be the end of week two. So let me put these together and then I'll come back and show you what we did in week two. Our puzzle week. All right, there are our valley blocks completed. It's going to be interesting to see all these go together. So that ends week two. Um, we did a lot this week. There's a lot going on with our uh, with all these little units we made, and then we have to put them together with these bigger units and keep left and rights together. <laughs> Uh, it's a lot going on, and it was a puzzle. Um, so, what did we do? We did all of this. I can't even name these blocks anymore. I'd have to go back and look. But we got these done. We got these done, which are similar, but I think they're just different colors. And then these bigger blocks. So, we also did these blocks. We did a lot. But anyway, that is week two of the Stronger Together 2023 quilt along that Fat Quarter Shop's doing. Pattern is by Michelle Ramsey. And we're celebrating Black History Month, and she has highlighted in the pattern. And I recommend you read those um, little biographies about the people that she's highlighted in this pattern who helped her also design this quilt. <clears throat> It really does make you think. I like history. I like reading about that stuff. I empathize with it. And, uh, and, uh, it's interesting history. Bad, good, all of that put together. But anyway, um, thanks for watching the video. I did have fun making it. Uh, it took me a night and a morning to do. I had to step away. It was a puzzle piece. It really was. It was fun. A problem solving puzzle piece. And, uh, Looking forward to next week. See what we do next week. But thanks for watching the video. Hit the subscribe button, notification bell. Watch me finish this quilt and do all the other fun stuff with us. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.